Good afternoon, everyone. All right, the girls are tasked with making a Valentine box. Since Valentine's Day is approaching, they each have an assignment from their class to get creative and make a Valentine box. And Madison's classroom has a contest. Most creative, coolest box, or most Valentine-y? Trinity has chosen to make a vending machine Valentine box, and Madison decided to go with a gumball machine. So, Trinity has chosen to spray paint her box white because Cause I'm I mean, not just gonna paint the whole thing. That is not very Valentine-y. All right, she's got her can of spray paint. We're gonna spray paint the box, and then we will get creative and decorate it. All right, this girl just got done jumping. Kate, what are you going to use for your box? It's not a box. It's a gumball machine. Gumball machine, okay. I don't know. So we found a couple, two different inspiration pictures. One did use cardboard and it was more of a, you know, box shape. And then there was another one that was more of a cylinder container. So I think that's the one she wants to go with. So we can either try to mold a piece of cardboard into a cylinder shape or see if we can find a cylinder tube. And then we need to figure out what we're doing for the bowl. Some people were using a glass bowl, but she is also challenged with having to tape it or or attach it to the back of her chair, and we can't have it being too heavy. Yeah. So, okay, tell everybody what you were just telling me. I was me. gonna say we could use we could use this for the clear bowl. Yeah. But I told her it's orange, and then she's like, "Well, we can paint it," and then it dawned on her, then it wouldn't make it clear anymore. Anyways. We used to have a tube out here, and it was actually right here, Madison. Do you remember that? No. Let's see if we can locate it. No. I thought maybe we could use the tube. And they were also challenged with only using stuff from home, right? Yeah. No purchasing anything. All right, well, we'll find something. A few moments later. We found Nesquik. Okay, so. And it's empty. That is a cylinder shape, so. We gonna paint it? Yeah. What color are we painting it? Red. All right. We found our paint. I told Madison we will need a couple coats for sure. Yes. All right. Ooh, ooh. We decided to bring it outside in the sun. It will dry much quicker. It probably only needs like five minutes, Madison. Okay. And then we'll be able to put on another coat. Okay. All right, guys. So this box was way too big. So. We don't need that anymore. So I got this box and spray painted it white and I'm gonna use these to make like a little window? Yes, thing? to put the candy in, huh? Yeah, I need to fix the size of it though. And um, I'm gonna paint some parts of that other box to make the buttons and the money dispenser and yeah. All right, we came out to check it on it. Good. Lift it up. Oh yeah. It might need a few coats of paint to cover up the nest quick. Yeah. All right. How's it looking with a second coat? Mm. <laughs> Still pretty dark. I mean, or see-through, I guess, not dark enough. You guys, look what Trinity did to my mom's carpet. Didn't we learn our lesson from the last time we used these paints? Apparently not. Ooh. All right, these girls are currently taking a break from their Valentine boxes while we let stuff dry. And they've decided to play in dirty water. What are we doing? What, what are all these containers? Tea for trend. What are we doing? They have buggies. They have bugs? What kind of yeah. bugs? These uh, they turn into mosquitoes. Not, not good kind of bugs? Yeah. They turn into mosquitoes. Mm -hmm. Oh. But they live in water, so we don't all right. need All right, it is the next day. We did not finish filming yesterday. We had to paint a few things for their Valentine boxes, which took time to dry. Anyways, Preston is here today, and we wanna show you his Valentine bags that he's working on for his preschool class. He's not actually going on Valentine's Day, so we're just gonna swing by in the morning and drop them off. But we thought we'd show you how we put them together. What are you doing? Photosynthesis. You're crazy. All right, you wanna show everybody how we put the Valentines together? Should we show everybody what we've been working on? We've got actually most of it done, but we took a pause break so we could show everyone. All right, he really wants to show you Maddie's gumball machine. I think I've done like six or seven coats of paint on this and it is still not covering it, so we may just wrap it in some of this paper. I've got, it's like double-sided. Might just use that. And then we've got a bowl 
We will probably oh, just cut a, a hole through there so they can just drop down. We'll see. Anyways, press in, show everybody what we're doing. We take a bag, we grab a Play-Doh. Which color are you gonna pick? Play-Doh, what'd you get? Pull it out, pull it, pull it, pull it. Whoa, that's a speckly one, that's cool. Okay, we put a Play-Doh in the bottom. Boom. And then we put in a Rice Krispie, which we need to write his name on, and a licorice. Where did my licorices go? Aha, there they are. All right, we've got all our things in here and then we tie it together. We've got all of these ones ready. So, Play-Doh, Rice Krispie, and a Twizzler. All right, Trin has finally got all of her stuff painted. What are you doing now? I'm making the buttons, like where you like- For the vending machine? Three or- Are you going to yeah. write anything on them, draw anything, or just leave them blank for now? I think I'll just leave them blank. All right, what are you up to, girl? I'm getting pom-poms. Okay, so we cut a hole in this, and we're gonna have everybody drop their valentines through the top, right? Yep. And then we're gonna glue pom-poms on the inside? Yeah. Gumballs. Gumballs. Pom-poms and gumballs. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's check on Trin here. What are we working on? Um, I'm gluing this piece of paper down, and you'll see what the paper is when I'm done. Okay. All right, you guys, it's time to show. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh uh, she forgot that mom helped her. Okay, so this is our gumball machine. Here, put on there, Trent. We have to hot glue gun that So that's on. basically what it's gonna look like from every side. Yes, well, then, we might not even cover it all the way around. And then imagine this is a piece of candy. You're gonna. Boop. And it catches in the bottom. Catches below. in the bottom. Heck yeah. Madison, you make a coin dispenser. what did you do to your fingers? Nothing. She burned it. This girl was creating her own creation with the hot glue gun and some pom-poms. And then she got down to the small pom-poms, which you have to hold on by your itty bitty fingertips, and she burnt her finger. So, note to self, do I'm not use this. the hot glue gun nah. by yourself. And so I was putting on the small purple one, and then it got me, and it really hurts. It hurts! <laughs> All right guys, I have finished my vending machine and I will show you in three, two, one. It's very cool. And I printed cool. out a fake pink dollar bill, so this is not real. I did not paint a dollar bill pink. And I cut it in half and glued it in here so it looks like the little money dispenser. Yeah. And I've got the buttons where you like oh my God. press to get your candy. And this is the screen where it tells you the total amount of money, Valentine's vending machine, and this is where your candy would come out. But Very cool. But this is where you're gonna put it in. And then Trinity and Madison are both giving these away. Cause there's 32, perfect. It worked out perfectly. Cause it's 32 so, in our class. We'll just drop it in there. Should you I drop just, it in? Just, can you get it back out? <laughs> My arm's just getting a feather. And here it is. Ta-da! Okay, it is a lot smaller compared to Trin's, but you know what? It is really creative. We did not cover all the way around. So that's gonna be the front. So turn it back to the front so they can see. All right, and then Madison had dad help her cut out a little spot right here. We need to super glue a penny to look like, or a coin, any coin, a quarter maybe, something that's bigger. So that it looks like. So that it looks like they're actually putting in coin to get a gumball out. Yep. And then they have to attach it to the back of their chair and drop Valentine's all the way in. <laughs> But that is it for today's vlog. We hope you guys all have a very happy Valentine's Day and we will see you in our next video. Bye.